I'm amazed at how far technology has gone when it comes to fishing. What I'm holding up is a rod that weighs a little bit under four ounces, just the rod itself. The reel, of course, also weighs a few ounces. But this is the Concept TI Nano Construction Rod from Rapala. It's one piece. This one is seven feet long. It's ideal for casting artificials, whether they're soft or, or hard plastics. And I have a shift reel to match it. A very light outfit. You can fish with it all day. Extremely sensitive and very, very strong. So it's very good for setting the hook. Now, because I've been throwing crankbaits, like the Shadrap series, I've gone with the Suffix 832 braided line. Now, the one that I've got on the spool here is the green color. And sometimes when we use it for jigging, it's very hard to spot. So it's nice that Suffix came out with two very bright colors, and I'm going to hold them up here. One is a ghost, which is the white that I'm holding here on the left side. The other is a bright yellow. Okay, so both of these are 10 pound test. Actually, this one's 10 pound test, this one's 20. And on the reel, I have 10 pound test. But the 10 pound test braid is four pound monofilament diameter. So it's ideal for casting really far, especially if you filled your spool properly to within one eighth of an inch of the rim. And then of course, when you're cranking, because the line diameter is so low, the lure will dive to its true running depth. So there's no resistance from the line. And when you get a hit, which is really important with the smallmouth, when you set the hook, you can drive that hook past the barb a lot easier. So if you're looking to cast for smallmouth, whether it's in an inland clear lake or here in the Great Lakes like Lake Erie, Lake Ontario, Lake Huron, a spinning outfit is a little bit more versatile than a bait caster, especially in open water where you might have to cast crosswind or into the wind if you see some rock pile that you've missed. If you're casting with the wind, a bait caster is fine. But for crosswind casting light lures like this, a spinning outfit like this with braided line and using a nice crankbait, you're probably going to catch a lot of fish.